Today we're going to be looking at the Barnes & Noble Nook High Definition T. Uh, the item number for this particular Barnes & Noble is BNTV600-R. It is available in the 16 gigabyte version on Barnes & Noble for $149. Amazon also has it for $149 as does Walmart. In the 32 gigabyte version, you're looking at 179. Now, the Barnes & Noble uh, Nook High Definition T is a uh, sporty, slick, smaller profiled tablet with many nice features. It is primarily a book reader, um, although it is considered to be a tablet. Uh, it has many of the tablet features. It does lack some of the tablet features. Again, as I said, this uh, tablet comes with a 16 uh, gigabyte uh, storage capacity. Uh, you can order it or, or buy it with the 32 gigabyte. And it does have an expansion slot. Now, uh, depending on how you hold your tablet, this would be uh, the neutral position with your power button and your volume up and down over here. And then also your ear jack, your power on the opposite side, that is the side with the uh, hole in it, is your 30 pin charging connector and a small compartment right there for your SD card. Now, it is expandable uh, up to 64 gigs this uh, particular unit has a 1.8 gigahertz Texas Instrument uh, 4400 dual core processor. It is uh, a medium running tablet, that is it's not uh, at the top of the line, uh, and such as the Tegra 3s, uh, nor is it the bottom of the line. It's uh, right about in the middle. It sports a one gigabyte internal memory. Now the operating system, as you can tell, uh, is a little different. Um, if you come to your home screen, it doesn't quite look like an Android uh, system. It is a proprietary operating system. However, it is Android-like. Uh, it would be very similar to an Android 4.0. They call it the 2.1. Um, however, it comes with, uh, some do need to be upgraded, upgraded to this operating system, but it does come with, uh, if you go to your apps page, it comes with all your, your standard Android uh, 4.0 features. It comes with Chrome, Gmail, uh, Hulu, uh, Pandora, Office Suite Lite. It has your Play uh, features. It has Pinterest. It has your Google Play. It has your YouTube, it has Twitter, um, pretty nice features for this uh, very uh, economical tablet. I picked this tablet up recertified, comes with a one year warranty. I picked it up for $89 and uh, I think uh, many of you could do the same. It's a very um, stylish tablet, it doesn't weigh much. 1.1 pounds and it is half inch thick. It is a very thin tablet. It has this beveled uh, front which is a little different. Um, at first you kind of, it feels a little weird because it's not, it is raised, uh, it's beveled above the screen. So it, it has a little unusual feeling and down here you have this, uh, this quite unusual hole. Um, I cannot determine what the hole is and Barnes & Noble would not respond as to the purpose. Uh, online there's uh, a variety of uh, explanations. One is that you put a pencil through it and it becomes a stand. Uh, it's a little ridiculous, a little silly. Another is that you can hook a uh, strap to it and you can walk around with it just uh, holding the strap. Again, I find that uh, somewhat odd. Um, I don't know the exact purpose and I don't pretend to tell you uh, that I do. However, 1.1 pounds and half inch thick with a non-skid backing makes the Nook extremely easy to handle one-handed. 
Now, as I said earlier, the, the Nook, um, it is not a, a tablet in the sense that it is a, a complete and uh, usable tablet, i.e. it doesn't come with a camera. It has no HDMI built in or micro USB ports. It does have the micro uh, SD uh, port for memory expansion and you can buy a kit from uh, Barnes & Noble that allows you to, to connect into the 30-pin uh, connector and have a HDMI adapter that does not come standard uh, with the unit. It does come with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, your screen re resolution is absolutely fantastic. 1920 by 1280, that is something you don't see in a tablet at this price range. It is a nine inch screen. Um, it, it is a little deceiving. The tablet has the appearance of being smaller than it really is. It's, uh, I, 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 I commend Barnes & Noble for, for the larger screen for those of us who are visual, visually impaired. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for, for us to uh, navigate. And if you have sausage fingers like I do, if you're trying to use an 8 inch tablet, a 7 inch tablet, or, or smaller, a 4 inch tablet, it becomes virtually uh, a chore. As far as uh, memory, um, your uh, Barnes & Noble Nook High Definition is extremely good on, on memory uh, and on battery life. Seven to eight hours of moderate to heavy use, nine to ten hours of light use. If you're watching a, a movie, you should get eight hours out of this, this tablet fairly easily. The recharge rate is extremely short at four hours. Uh, the tablet is very affordable. It is a great reading device. If you've ever opened up the uh, Kindle and, uh, or, and or the Nook, you understand what I'm talking about. These, these, these devices are designed for reading books. The, the ease in which you flip pages, the, the hyperlinks and so on, built into the tablet are just fantastic. So if you're looking for something that is a combination between a tablet and a reading device, by far you're going to enjoy this. Um, your uh, memory uh, or your uh, storage capacity is, uh, is light. Uh, as it is. I, I ordered the 16 gigabyte unit and uh, only 13 of that is usable. So if you load a few uh, heavy programs, some large games, you'll run out of space fairly soon and you will want to add uh, an, a, a, a micro SD to it to increase your uh, storage capacity. Uh, however, for the price at 149 all the many features, the incredibly crisp uh, graphics, the, uh, the nine inch screen. If you like watching movies, this is a great tablet for you. Um, it feels nice in the hands. Um, even with the odd uh, uh, hole in it, it still feels nice in the hands. Uh, it has the uh, upside down horseshoe for home, you just press it wherever you are. Uh, to wake it from sleep, you just press it. It's a very nice, uh, nice feature. It has very good sound, remarkably. I do consider the, uh, the sound to be uh, both above average um, and a disappointment. Uh, the sound comes out the bottom if you're holding that with two hands and you're working around and flipping pages. Your sound is occluded by your hand. Uh, that should have been better thought out. Um, that is a disappointment. That is a con uh, with this tablet. Again, your charge time at four hours, uh, your battery life, which is uh, above average, great graphics, good sound, all make this a great buy. Now, having said that, we should talk about some of the uh, disadvantages. Again, no camera. Uh, the speaker location is inconvenient. It has a feeling um, as you're using it, especially uh, if you're watching a movie or playing a game, it has the feeling of slower performance. Now, I don't believe it's truly a slower 
performance, but it just doesn't feel as smooth as say a Tegra 3 does or a 1.8 a dual processor. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the not, there's no expansion on this without buying something else. Uh, so, you know, as you buy it and pull it out of the box, you get your charging cord, uh, which is the 30 pin. Uh, you get basically nothing else. So the expansion of this unit is very limited. It is only Wi-Fi. Uh, you do have uh, uh, Bluetooth with it. Uh, there are no cameras. The look and feel is of a small tablet, and that, that can feel a little weird. Uh, although it's a 9-inch tablet, the feel is that it is a smaller tablet. All in all, a thumbs up to Barnes & Noble's Nook, uh, the high definition T. I really like this tablet. I think you would like it too, um, especially if you're going to use it uh, on the lighter side as far as a tablet, but still want the benefit of having games and other apps. Uh, maybe some bookkeeping or, or some text writing, things like that. Email works great. Battery life, fantastic. The Barnes & Noble Nook High Definition T.